We as people have a glorious future because of the sovereign grace of Christ. The cursed earth has a glorious future because of the sovereign grace of Christ. Think of all those re-words in the Bible. Redeem, restore, recover, return, renew, regenerate, reconcile, reconcile, resurrect, resurrect. And they all have an equivalent. Sometimes the prefix in the, the Greek is ana, and, and other times there is, a, there is a linguistic equivalent to the English prefix re. In these words, they are words that speak not of God abandoning his creation, but of God restoring his creation, redeeming his creation, reconciling his creation his creation, resurrecting his creation. And again, you'll see that in that one handout that relates, that has the, the charts and just the comparison. That other handout, by the way, is just something from Romans 8 that will supplement a little bit of um, what I'm saying in this message. So Revelation 22 says there will be no more curse. The curse will be reversed. How far will God's redemptive work reach? Well, I think Isaac Watts said it best. Enjoy to the world, far as the curse is found. What a great theologian Isaac Watts was. I'm uh, reading an old book. Well, any book by Isaac Watts is old, I guess. So I mean, I'm reading a brand new book by Isaac Watts. And, uh, but anyway, this is a book on heaven and the afterlife and comfort. and Oh, it's just, it's magnificent. Uh, and what great, rich theology and it is a biblical theology as far as the curse is found. Whatever the curse has touched, God will redeem, reverse, take away the curse.